if you're a pregnant mom who took Tylenol, does this mean your child will have autism? Absolutely not. Well, first I want to talk about the data. So we basically have two types of studies that we base medicine off of. One is placebo-controlled double-blind trials. These usually take cost about $19 million to produce and take about 10 years. The rest of them are something called meta-analysis, in which we take a whole lot of little studies and bring them together and try to make a conclusion from that meta-analysis. Well, the data presented on autism and Tylenol were what we call a meta-analysis. Analysis. And that is what the majority of our science is. Reason being, nobody has enough money to fund the other types of trials except for big pharma. And the data is not going to ever get better. No one's going to come up with $19 million to further research this. Another reason that we'll never have more clinical trials than we currently have is because we have shown what we call a, a causation by association. Whenever a trial is developed, it has to go through something called an IRB regulatory board. This regulatory board's first concern is do no harm. And the reason we don't have a lot of studies on pregnant women is because we're not going to take a pregnant woman and say, let's do a study on this if we had any indication there could potentially be harm. So we'll never get these trials through an IRB regulatory board. Autism is a multifactorial disorder that there's lots of things that come together all at one time to cause this condition to be expressed. So please don't worry.